go. Looking good. We're good to shock. Yes, sir. Now that we have our white bass, we, we are going to sex them and look for males and only keep the males. The females we will return to the stream where we collected them, that way that they can continue their run on their spawn. It's kind of gently press on their bellies and you can see the milk come out. You can see the white milk. So we know that's a male. So we go ahead and keep the male. This one, you can see right here, eggs coming out. That's the female, and she is good to go. So we're gonna get her back into the water so that she can go finish her spawn. We're gonna take these fish to Byron State Fish Hatchery. It's about an hour and a half from this location right here. So the North Central Region guys just showed up today and delivered the white bass smells that we're going to use for hybrid production. These fish will stay in this pond for about three to four weeks. White bass collection is now over. Now the striped bass collection begins. That fish there is, is probably nine, nine to ten hours away from spawning. It's pretty unusual. Typically here, um, we don't really get too many that are that close. So in nine or ten hours, this fish would have naturally spawned in the wild. So that was the uh, that was the last one. We just eased them all into the tank there, washed them off first. Um, they're all tagged. They've all got their ACG, so we know what they weigh, um, what stage each of them are. So when they get to the hatchery, they unload these fish. They'll know what they're working with, when to start, and uh, they've got eight fish. And I think we're I think we're done. Now that it's been. About 24 hours after we injected these females 
Um, what we do now is we uh, take a small sample of the eggs and look at them under the microscope and we're going to see the development of the egg and see how far the, the fish has progressed in the egg development and it gives us a pretty good idea of when this fish is going to spawn. Looks like she's about 13 hours away. So now we know approximately when this fish is going to ovulate, and we'll write all that information down and and uh, keep keep tabs on her, and hopefully spawn her about 13 hours. Three pink, Coulter. This fish is ready to spawn. Get your, get your left hand glove on. See, had her down for nine, checked her at seven. She's ready to go. Um, the hybrid striped bass is, is a real aggressive fish. If we've got a situation in a lake that stunned crappie population, they, we can introduce this sterile hybrid predator to to help manage that species and you know further down the, the the years where we feel like we've got that under control then we just quit stocking those hybrids and they can't reproduce we use a feather to stir the eggs with we don't want to damage the eggs so we use a, a feather to stir them with i'm taking a one milliliter sample of eggs i've got to count this sample to see how many eggs there are per milliliter. There's uh, roughly anywhere from four to six hundred eggs per, per milliliter, but it varies from fish to fish. Generally the smaller the fish, the smaller the egg diameter. So you have to count each each fish and see how big the how big the eggs are. So far we've done uh, 3.3 million eggs so far. After the fry are put into the tanks and they hatch, Approximately five days after hatch is when we want to start feeding the brine shrimp. These are advanced fry. We've been feeding them brine shrimp for about six days, about 11 days after they hatch. So the easiest way to get these fry into one container is to siphon them in, into this you know, basket. From this basket, then we can um, divide them out into our boxes for shipping. We're definitely glad to see them leave, but uh, we want them in the best shape, you know, best shape possible. We can get them. I'm feeding at midnight, feeding at 6 a.m., babysitting them. You know, these are our babies, you know, take care of them like our kids, <laughs> it seems like. <laughs> the essence, of course, you know, we need to get these fry in these boxes just as soon as we can. Minutes count, hours count in this job. The fry are going to be in good shape in those fry boxes um, for really about six to eight hours um, at the densities that we put them in there. So uh, we get them to their final destination usually in in uh, two or three hours. The big scheme of things is we're producing fish for, for a lot of people in the, in, in, in the United States to catch throughout the, you know, Nebraska, Colorado, Kansas, Texas, so it all works out. This is our smallest pond. This is about seven tenths of an acre. Uh, we're stocking right at 100,000 fry into this one. We've got five ponds we've just stocked. There should be a little over 650,000 fry that we've stocked out for growth. Right here, we're harvesting our pond. They, uh, they've been in for about 28 days, a little shorter than normal, but our water temperatures have been really warm. The fish are growing a lot faster than expected. We put about 150,000 in this pond. 
we're hoping to get about 40% return. That would be great. Uh, acceptable would be around 30. This, this is the ditch system that the pond was draining into. It's running down to our catch basin. Uh, one of our employees, is, he's keeping the screen clean. Sitting there, they're, they're running samples right now on weight. He, here he's, he's doing his weight sample, figure out how many there are to the pound. As I told you earlier, he'll, he'll run three to five samples to get an accurate count. 1,100 to the pounds, what that came out to. 81,000. All right, well, I'll load about 20,000 and send them to Morica. 7-3. We don't want to leave them in that bucket that long. I've actually never been to Warica. This will be my first time. But I know I got 20,000 hybrid striped bass that are going there. Best part of the job. Places of Oklahoma you never would see. I've got, we've already stocked 80,000 once today, and I've got 20,000 on this truck. And we're here at Lake Warica. I think we've stocked a little over 100,000 um, hybrid striped bass into this lake alone today, which is a pretty impressive feat. But two years and they'll be a good sized fish, you know, one and a half to two pounds by then for sure. And then um, they'll keep growing from there.